Now, one of the things that always amuses me about some of the current public dialogue around AI is like, oh, is this going to accelerate climate change because of the electricity cost? And I think what you know, most of these people are not realizing how we can also use AI to help us with climate. So, because it, it, like, you know, if we can get a lot more intelligence applied to various problems, that can help us with climate. Say, say a little bit about how you're thinking in that arena. You know, the extra electricity load is, you know, it's there, but it's it's like a 10% add-on. You know, it'll challenge the way that we do green accounting a little bit. And I wish Fission and Fusion were sooner because this sort of gold rush for AI backend capacity is kind of the next eight years. And even Fission will only be able to make a modest contribution in the 2030 timeframe to that uh, electricity supply. So the value of AI in solving the scientific problems of, okay, how do you grow, how do you make plants more productive? Okay, you model photosynthesis and you model how you change the plant genetics in order to double the productivity. That's a very profound advance in improving photosynthetic efficiency. In fact, you know, because it's kind of a far out thing, the foundation is the primary funder of that as, as the, we show that it, it can work. Okay, other, other people will come into that. But anyway, AI for material science, uh, biology, it is a, a gigantic accelerator. So take whatever green product you think is going to be the hardest to get the zero green premium, rethink how hard that's going to be because the AI tools are so phenomenal at accelerating all of these paths of innovation. 